the teaspoon and demitasse spoon. In this lesson, we'll look at the two smaller spoons, the teaspoon and demitasse spoon. We'll be looking at the appearance and purpose of these spoons, their placement, either on the setting or with the beverage, and their replacements. What to do if you don't have one of these spoons. As usual, appearance and purpose. By now, you would have noticed that there is a relationship between the size of the cutlery and the dish with which it is served. Starters are smaller and lighter and are served with cutlery that is smaller. Mains are generally heavier and more substantial, so they are served with heavier, larger pieces of cutlery. The same is true of the spoons you will use during service, as you'll see in this lesson. The demitasse spoon and the teaspoon are both small spoons and usually accompany beverages such as tea, coffee or espressos. The demitasse spoon is the smaller of the two. So, when do you think the demitasse spoon should be used? The demitasse spoon is the smaller of the two and so is usually used when serving espressos. The cup is smaller and so the spoon should be too. It is also perfect for accompanying small sugar bowls or for enjoying an amuse bush. These dishes are also small and dainty. The teaspoon, on the other hand, is used when serving tea, coffee and other hot beverages in standard sized cups or mugs. For example, cappuccinos and americanos. Next, let's learn about placement. When either of these spoons are served with hot beverages, you should place them behind the cup, with the handle facing the guest's right hand. This makes it easier for the guest to pick up the spoon, rather than having to reach around the cup to reach the handle from the left. Remember how we adjusted the placement of knives and forks for a left-handed guest? Do you think something similar can be done with a teaspoon? If you thought that the handle should face to the left, well done! Lastly, let's finish off with replacement cutlery. If you don't have a demitasse spoon, a teaspoon is an adequate substitute. The same applies the other way around. What is important, however, is that the same sized spoon is used consistently throughout service. This means that if you must serve an espresso with a teaspoon, all the espressos must be served with a teaspoon. This way, your service will be consistent and your guests will appreciate your attention to the finest details. To check that you remember the main points of this lesson, see if you can spot anything wrong in this picture. Well done if you noticed that the tea was served with a demitasse spoon, which is inconsistent and incorrect if a teaspoon is available. Similarly, the espresso was served with a teaspoon when a demitasse spoon was available. You should know the following about the teaspoon and demitasse spoon. Their appearance and purpose, their placement, and the correct replacement cutlery when you don't have either one of the spoons. Good luck and well done!